Literally, stop. Stop! I'm sorry. Oh! <sighs> come here, come here. Let's go see the northern lights! They're just lights in the sky from the north. They're pixies, they come around, they spray some dust in the sky, and it looks beautiful. Here's a picture. Guys, I'm not mentally okay. This fucking thing is like a disease. I wanna break it, I wanna break it, but like, I know I need it. I'm the reason TikTok's still running because I'm an idiot and I keep giving it my awareness. You know what, let's just go see the Northern Lights. We're gonna become best friends with these fairies and we're gonna be like, yo, give me some magic. Let's go travel to other galaxies. No, but seriously, let's go. Oh, it's dark. We are driving to go see the Northern Lights. We might not be able to see them, but maybe we will, right? No northern lights for you today. Even I have never seen them. Right now, I am having a self-made therapy session. What I do in my therapy sessions is number one, lo-fi hip-hop girl, lo-fi study session, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. I love her. Number two, my journal. I write a lot of poems. I write a lot of poems. My Instagram page used to be a poetry page. Number three, coffee. No, but for real, I love coffee. Number four, a book. Let me just talk about reading for a second. Reading brings me into another world and the type of books I read are very scientific and spiritual. They are a lot to do with nature, a lot to do with philosophy, and it teaches me a lot of shit. Do not underestimate a meal. Sometimes when you're feeling anxious and you're just feeling like all these thoughts are coming into your head and you're remembering everything that you need to get done that you're not able to get done, you're procrastinating, you eat a meal. It's part of my self-care routine. Rice. I'm very in tune with my body and my body has been really wanting tofu and I mixed in peanut butter, soy sauce, garam masala, It's me and Gobby Boy. We're walking to Starbucks. You know what I realized that I kind of love? Everyone's houses are so, I don't know, like you see people's lamps on, and you like, I'm not peeking in or anything, but you see people's lamps on, and you see them just kind of like chilling. And right now there's a dog that was working at me, rude. But the owner came out and he was like so kind, like, sorry. And then he was like, come in, come in. And I was just like, you guys are all just chilling and having wholesome, good vibes in your house. And it's like so cozy. You know what I mean? Like it's that type of vibe. Anyways. I have problems. What type of problems are these? When I try to write down my thoughts in a journal, I can't do it. How do people have the patience to write in a journal? Like, is it just, is it my, it's my impatience. It's a problem. Every single moment that I'm not making money or grinding or hustling, I'm like, I'm useless. Why is this narrative in my head? It was not my parents, but maybe? No, was it just, the culture that I went to school in? Or maybe this is everyone's story. Maybe everyone feels like this. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder why did I get sent to the planet? Did I just get sent to work? Like, I wanna spend my time volunteering. I wanna meditate. I put my accounting skills to work for organizations that I believe in, where the environment isn't toxic. This is what happens when I journal. I literally get like, two sentences down and then pull out the camera. So if you guys have been following me on my journey on YouTube, you know that I've been meditating and I think I've gotten to a point where I am touching very deep wounds and that's why I'm feeling anxious all the time. Why are suicide rates going up? It's so sad. I hate being an empath, man. Sorry, this is like a hurricane of emotions coming your way. I just don't wanna always show light. I wanna be very transparent on my channel. I wanna show everything. I wanna show the really dark deep ends. I wanna show when I'm super happy and light and I wanna show 
the entire spectrum of emotions that every human can go through. I want to show my failures. I want to show my successes. We have put so much pressure of being a human being that is acceptable in society and needs to follow these rules when little kids have emotions that they don't know how to deal with and they're not told to talk about these emotions therefore they're suppressing their emotions even more then it comes up in adulthood or in their youth and they don't know what the fuck to do and then they kill themselves that shit's not okay if it seems like i'm angry i am a little bit angry but then i just realize anger doesn't do shit so like i should just say this with love You guys have seen me wearing the same pajamas day and night for the last day and a half. I'm in a slump and I've talked about this also before. I go into slumps here and there throughout the year and recently I have been allowing myself to go into slumps because I think it's part of my healing journey and I've taken this on. I have to hold myself accountable for going into this slump and be very kind to myself instead of being mad at myself, especially because yesterday was a very emotional day for me. I'm going to clean my room, then I'm gonna drive to go see my fiance, hang out with him, work out together. That's life, baby. That's life. Here are some other YouTubers that I love. Love, love, love. Like two years ago, I watched one of Lynette's videos and I was like, you guys exist? This girl is literally my inner monologue. You know when you just need that validation to show you that you are the way I think the feminine energy and masculine energy that I have was like wrong. As soon as I got a glimpse of this one YouTuber who was talking in the same language that I have been thinking in my head ever since I was a kid unlocked something in me. Women need to help women. We're not meant to be fighting each other all the time and being competitive. For what? Anyways, that's my little rant. That's my little rant. That's my little rant.